think about this in terms of the unit circle. Because so far, we, did a prom we just did a problem like this with the unit circle. So then I look at this and I say, OK, what angle gives me negative 1 third for sine? So I'm thinking of coordinate points. I'm thinking unit circle. I just did this. I'm like, oh, crap. I don't remember a point where the y coordinate was negative 1 third on the unit circle. Right? And there's a very good reason for that. Because the y coordinate is not going to be equal to negative 1 third on the, um, on, based, on, based on giving this value for on the unit circle. So if we want to evaluate the cosine of this, now again, remember, just like we did over here, if we're going to evaluate this, like if we were just going to value this on this whole, we'd be looking for the angle, right? But this is not a value um, over, the, over the inner circle. Because again, like, think about it this way. This is saying the sine of some angle, actually, I'll, the sine of some angle is equal to a negative 1 over 3. Now again, remember what sine even represents. Like everybody's so remember, everybody's so focused on the y coordinate, the x coordinate, and from unit circle stuff. But don't go, don't forget the basics. Opposite over hypotenuse. Right? Obviously, guys, if the hypotenuse is three, we can write, we can see that this is not on the unit circle, right? Or at least this is not going to be a value on the unit circle. So now that we're going to be looking at this, or at least for a coordinate point, we're not going to have this y value. Um, or this isn't going to represent a y value in the inner circle. Um, so what we want to do now is we can't evaluate for theta unless we had a calculator. But can we draw a triangle that at least represents this relationship? Right? So we wouldn't want to do this. Please don't do this. Right, because obviously you're not you like we don't want that to be negative one or don't do that because that's a hypotenuse, but we know that sine needs to be negative or the y coordinate needs to be negative, so that means restrictions exist. So there's basically, if you guys remember, this is a good review for your chapter test. There's two triangles that we can create with that central angle theta, negative one three, and negative one three. Now, based on our restrictions of sine, what is the only triangle that's going to work? This one, right? So instead of it being a unit circle, it's a circle. Instead of being a unit circle, it's a circle where the radius is 3, right? So we can't use the unit circle here, but we can still think about this in terms of triangles. Now, so this is what this creates this triangle for me. Can I, based on this triangle that I created based on this information, can I now find the cosine of that? Yeah, all you got to, I mean, this is stuff you already know. All you got to do now is use Pythagorean theorem, so I'd have 3 squared is equal to negative 1 squared plus, I don't know, let's call this a, plus a squared. So we have 9 is equal to 1 plus a squared, minus 1 minus 1, 8 equals a squared. a is going to equal 2 square root of 2. So therefore, if I'm going to do the cosine, I'm going to have 2 square root of 2 over 3. And that would be your final answer. Because the cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Right? Just remember the cosine is the one that's positive. 